Stefan Molyneux that claims to be big into philosophy, although it seems that he only reads Ayn Rand. Um, and I don't know that he... Actually, I know he didn't go to college uh, for philosophy. I at least took a couple philosophy classes in college. And the one thing that is immediately studied is if you are a materialist, then there is no free will. There is no you personality. It's just, you're just, it's just chemical reactions that are causing you to do whatever you do. There's, I mean, my context understood this because he was a philosophy major and he totally got this, that from the beginning of time until now, there was no, there's nothing you did that was actually your choice. It, free choice is just an illusion and there's no way to change it because there's nothing inside of you that you're just completely physical. There's no controller in the machine. And uh, consciousness is probably just a um, malfunction of our nervous system. It's probably just a fluke. Um, the idea that we think that uh, we have a choice to walk from this piece of pavement to that piece of pavement. There's, there is no choice. Because it's just basically a large math. If you understood every atom and quark in the universe, it would just be a large mathematical equation. And you could predict where somebody would be standing, what they would be eating, how they would be enjoying it or disliking it in a billion years from now, or in a, let's say, a thousand years from now. And uh, St Stefan Molyneux doesn't grasp this very simple, simple thing that you learn in Philosophy 101. He's not a philosopher, he's a blind follower of objectivism as told by Ayn Rand, a Randist objectivist.